Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Play Call TV. I'm T Montague, and this week we'll be talking about Shaw and Oakland. What? When's No Sean Moreno actually going to get a deal? And is Sean Jackson chasing that money? Here we go. Surprise, surprise, Sean Jackson wants to cut a paycheck. Where have we heard that before? I don't know, maybe like every other week for the last four years? Okay, it's not that bad, but seriously. Philly thinks he's overpaid and teams that are in the market for his services are likely going to try and lowball him. First down. Vic back to pass. And that is caught by Jackson along the sideline. And Jackson down the middle of the field being chased inside the 20, inside the 10, and into the end zone backwards for the touchdown. Sean Jackson's greatest asset is his speed and his playmaking ability, particularly on the deep ball. So yeah, it's a huge risk for the Eagles to take. But it does strike me that Chip Kelly is the kind of guy who likes to roll the dice. One guy who's definitely flown under the radar so far this free agent offseason is no Sean Moreno. So far, he's visited the Miami Dolphins, and that's it. He hasn't got a deal yet. Six seasons catching Tom Brady's passes. Now in a white uniform, and they start with a 12 yard run by Noshan Moreno. Manning doesn't want the Patriots to make any defensive changes. Brings him to the line, and Moreno will chug his way in for the touchdown. Taking a look at Moreno's much improved 2013 season with the Broncos, he racked up a notch over 1,000 yards from scrimmage at a 4.3 per carry click, had 60 receptions for 500 yards, and scored 10 touchdowns. The second quarter, with the first and 10 for Denver, Moshan Moreno will take it over the right side, and Moreno will take it to the 49-yard line. There's some truth to the idea that Moreno was a beneficiary of the Peyton Manning effect, playing in that Broncos offense that was putting up points, forcing defenses to play the pass, and generally playing with the lead almost all the time but he'll get you two or three yards from scrimmage when you absolutely need it. And that's more than you can say for Daniel Thomas over in Miami right now. It's a perfect fit, working in tandem with Lamar Miller. Sign in Miami. Sign Moreno. He actually wants to play for you. So Matt Shaw's been given a new lease on NFL life in a Raiders uniform. Coach Dennis Allen's parading around talking about how Shaw could start for another three or four years and now Terrell Pryor is requesting to be released from the team. Are you kidding me? Three or four years? I mean, seriously. Now, to be fair, Shaw's terrible final season with the Texans was in large part owing to the fact that he was playing behind an offensive line that just loved seeing him get sacked and he was kind of dealt some of the most predictable play calling of any offense in the modern era of the NFL. But really, three or four more years? Sean has it, throws, and it's intercepted by Richard Sherman. He's going down the sideline. He has followers, and not just on Twitter. Touchdown Seahawks! Is it at all possible that Shaw was riding the coattails of Andre Johnson in his prime for a handful of years and in reality just isn't that good? That's a wrap. See you next time.